Hey everyone, Vincent here from Open Source Tonight again. Wanted to make a video about my thoughts about snap packages versus app packages or deb packages. Myself, I usually prefer to use a Debian package, a deb package or an app package, depending on how you want to refer to it, over a snap package. And I'm going to explain to you why. I have a couple reasons. Number one, with app packages, the actual people of either Debian or Ubuntu or whoever you're using, right, are actually checking to make sure these packages are safe. They're making sure they're not viruses and everything. And while in theory something might slip through every once in a while, it's unlikely. Now, there's been situations in the past where snap packages actually had a virus in it because they're not verified. Now, they do have the ability to take them down, the canonical engineers do, but the reality is is that they're not actually scanning those packages ahead of time like they are in the other repos. So if you're using the Debian repo or if you're using the Ubuntu repos, they are actually scanning those for security to make sure that they actually are secure and, and you know not going to have any issues. They also update them for security but not for features, which is another big thing. I actually like the fact that they hold software back on Ubuntu and Debian and stuff like that in the repos because it allows me to be able to get work done and not have to worry about waking up one morning and having a major change occur on me, right? I do not want to wake up tomorrow, update my system and have to be worried, oh no, something just updated and made a major UI change and I have to relearn everything and I need to get work done right now, I don't have time for this. With a snap, they auto update and that's something that can legitimately happen to you. So that's a big concern for me. So to summarize, my main concerns with Snap is security and auto-updating. Now, I know that you can disable auto-updating on Snaps. It's not officially supported, but there is a way to do it. There's a service that runs in the background of most systems that you can disable and it will stop updating. But again, then I'm not getting the security patches either. And I want security, but I don't want major UI changes. So for me, or major feature changes, so for me, I think I'm going to be staying on the app package system slash Debian package system, the dev package system for now. Now that being said, I do occasionally install a snap package. For example, if I want to actually try out the latest and greatest, because it is separated from the system, I can install something and test it out and not have to worry about it breaking everything. It's self-contained. And so that is one nice thing about snap packages. So I do like some things about snaps. I mean, if I wanted to say, for example, install the latest Caden Live and check it out, I can do that. And I've actually done that. And it's actually really nice that I can install that. But there is issues. For example, on Caden Live, the mouse doesn't theme correctly. It looks like the old X Windows mouse, you know, like the old X Org server mouse, instead of the actual GTK mouse that I have set up as a theme. And so that's not good, but these are things I'm sure that can be fixed in the future with snaps. And even the security might be fixed. Okay, the final thing I do not like about snaps is not directly related to snaps, but indirectly, and that is Canonical, the people that make Ubuntu. If you do sudo apt install, for example, Chromium dash browser right now, you won't get a Debian package that actually installs Chromium. Right now, you'll get a deb package that will then run a snap call and actually do a snap install of Google's Chromium. Now, I am not exactly a fan of that. Look, it's my system, and I believe that if I do an apt install command, I should get an apt package or a dev package install, not a snap package, okay? This is Linux. One of the reasons I moved to Linux was so I could have control over my systems, because these days, it's kind of hard to do that on some other platforms, right? So, again, I wanted to have control, and Canonical's trying to take it away from me. So, who knows? Maybe I'll make the switch away from Ubuntu at some point, because I don't like this snaps, being installed from app packages, you know, without my approval. I do not like that. So in the future, I may move away. Who knows? I'm thinking right now, Linux Mint might be a good option, but there's things I don't like about Linux Mint too. And I do like the GNOME desktop. So who knows where I'll end up in the future, but I've been using Ubuntu for a long time, and so I don't know. But the point is, is that right now, I like app packages. I like using the apt repos right now because I do not have to worry about stability issues. I do not have to worry about issues around security, right? They're going to make sure that these packages, for the most part, are stable, you know? And then again, same thing for the security. They're going to do their best they can to do security validation. They don't do this on snaps. And so, 
For me, I'm staying with apps, but I do want an app packages. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think that app is the way to go slash dev packages? Or do you think that app images or flat packs or snaps? What do you think is the best out there in the Linux world these days? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, thanks for watching.